Lately in video gaming media, the topic of gender equality has been coming up a lot. Though there are examples to the contrary, women depicted in games are still often present only for their role in the damsel in distress trope, and are regularly portrayed as flat, two-dimensional characters. I mean, personality-wise. As a consequence of being under the magnifying lens, the question, is Game X sexist or not, is frequently on our lips and minds. Wouldn't it be nice if we could put down the pitchforks and let games provide their own defense about where they stand on the gender equality issue? Well, good news, because there's a way for games to do just that. Sort of. <laughs> Allow me to introduce the Bechtel Test, named after Alison Bechtel, the cartoonist whose comic strip first presented us with the deceptively simple criteria. To pass the test, a work must contain at least two women who talk to each other about a topic other than a man. It seems like a low bar, but what's interesting is that despite that, Something close to half of all movies fail the test? Now I'm talking about movies here, because this is what the test was originally applied to. The punchline of the original comic strip was the characters leaving the box office when they realized none of the movies showing passed the test. Now let me preface this by saying that taking a test originating in a comic strip that was intended to be applied to movies and applying it to games is by no means an adequate replacement to actually playing games and deciding for yourself how patriarchal a game may or may not be. As a quick relatable example, the video you're watching right now, which has gender equality as a basic underlying theme, isn't going to pass the Bechtel test. That said, as a YouTuber, it is my sworn duty to come to conclusions based off of no evidence whatsoever and present my findings for all to see. So let's go ahead and put some games under that dirty lens of the microscope. Play along at home and see if you can guess which of these games will pass. Before I start throwing curveballs, let's start it slow. Super Mario World. A game literally about saving a damsel in distress. We've got, near as I can figure, one female character other than our signature damsel, and that's Wendy O. Koopa. Sorry, Wendy O, but the princess is in a different castle, so you two never get a chance to talk. Fail. Life is Strange. A game about a girl going to school and living her life until suddenly she finds her life is strange. And cut to title shot. No, but seriously. When most of the game involves two girls hanging out and doing stuff together, it would be pretty tough to fail. Unless they just kind of sat there in silence, awkwardly, the whole time. Pass. And in case you were curious if such a female-centric game would pass a reverse Bechtel test, that is to say, a test where we check to see if two guys talk to each other about something other than a woman, it does. Max doesn't even make it out of the school before she witnesses the bully Logan deepen conversation with the meek Daniel. Bonus points for being a female protagonist game to pass a reverse Bechtel test. Pass. Halo. A game about manly men, the trucks they drive, and their guns. Their arms, not their arms. Nary a woman in sight except for the femme pewter. This looks to be a prime example of what to do to make sure to fail the Bechtel test, right? But as it turns out, Halo passes. It turns out that that femputer, Cortana, and the female voice from Fauxhammer, 
talk to each other repeatedly. Pass. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball. A game about bikini-clad girls with a male target audience. Need I say more? While the last game had very male-centric aspects, this is a game that I'm convinced was conceived as a means to objectify women. Despite that, it turns out if you put enough women on screen, they're gonna end up talking to each other. So again, we have a pass. Pass. Metroid Prime, a game about a female protagonist who don't need no man. Let's go ahead and give this one a star and move on. What? Samus doesn't talk to anyone? Women included? But, but, it's a female protagonist game. Fine, a rule's a rule. Metroid Prime, fail. Honey Pop. For the uninitiated, I'll try not to sugarcoat it. This is a game about dating girls. An adult game about dating girls. Getting the ultimate achievements in this game involves spending the night with every girl in the game. And yet even a game like this can't manage to get past the introduction before it's gotten a pass on the Bechdel test. A brightly shining symbol of equality for feminists everywhere, I'm sure. Pass. So what did we learn today? While it may at first seem like a bad idea to take a rule book straight out of a comic strip and apply it to everything in your life, if you take the time and really give it a shot, you'll find that, yeah, it's a horrible idea. Let's not do this again.